Well, I got some questions um, I, that some people in my uh, locals have asked. Um, well, one is, what is your plan to get things done? I think that's a simple question. Um, say you, you become mayor. What What is step one? What's the plan? So I want to make sure that people understand what the, the mayor structure, by the way, is in Arlington, Texas. Mm -hmm. It is a weak mayor structure. There's two. There's strong mayor structure, weak mayor structure. The mayor structure in Arlington, Texas, is they have a vote with their council. So, but they represent the city. So we will we do appoint the city ma um, city manager who actually handles most of the money. Um, but when it comes to appointing the chief of police, like the one we have now, the city manager did that. That's not the mayor. So in order for us to get a lot of things done, yes, I'm going to need you at the polls for us to win and fight for freedom. But you have to still be active afterwards too, and hold the other people accountable um, on the on the um, council in order to get things done. I mean, there's times that they've gotten certain things done for other the other side because they had activists in there um, telling them what to do, and then the the council bent the knee and did what they wanted, even though it wasn't constitutional. Yeah. So I'm still going to need you guys afterwards. And um, a big thing is I want to have uh, transparency. I want people to know. And since I do have a bigger platform, I think it'll help a lot um, for you guys to know and see whenever we have meetings coming up. If you can't make it physically, I will always share it on my platforms. Um, but in order to get things done, actually get things going correctly, I'm going to need you guys still to come because it's the vote. There it is right there. And I want to I want to add on to that. I mean, because. You said like earlier, Black Lives Matter only shows up every four years because they whip people into a frenzy to get them to vote the way that they want to. And it's like, we got to recognize that it's not just about that presidential election every four years. We need to be a part of this conversation always. Now, I, I said on my show on Monday, I don't want to be talking politics because it, I'm not a politician. I'm not that that's not my that's just, you know, it's not who I am, you know, but. I never said I'm going to stop paying attention. I'm not going to not be a part of the conversation. I mm -hmm. will always pay attention to the people that are in charge and, and seeing what they're doing and holding them accountable and calling them out when they're doing something I don't like and trying to inspire others to get out there and help be part of this solution that we need, which is get these people that don't care about us out of office, right? So what right. she just said, that holds so true. Okay, sure. Go vote, please. It's amazing. We need we need you to get out and vote. But don't ever stop being part of the conversation. Don't stop right. paying attention to it because we are all in this together. We're all on this planet together. And to move forward together, we all have to be with each other together. Right? So that's a great point. You know, it doesn't end like, oh, cool. Donnie, Donnie became mayor. Cool. I'm done. Go go fix it for us, Donnie. Like, that's not how it works, right? We Right. That's that really is step one. And another thing too that people should realize, what will happen if you are active and you see the other council members, members, <laughs> members <laughs> fighting against you, yeah. you're gonna vote them out. You're gonna hold them accountable. You might yep. even run and join the dream team to make Do Arlington it. better. Do it. Do, Do it. it. Run. <laughs> <laughs> we need more. The more, the merrier. You know, it's like people have asked me for gosh, almost a year now. Like, are you going to run? Are you going to you gonna get into politics? And I'm like, I, I don't have any interest. I feel like I can do more um, help getting others into politics, you know, shining light on people like you, Donnie, who, I, you know, I believe are the type of people we need in politics that, mm -hmm. you know, I, I feel like I'm doing a, a nice part so i don't i don't think it's for me um but i will i will never stop uh being part of that conversation you know and that's we all need to be part of it and that that was from robert robert wiles thank you for that question that was uh that was good it, it thank you robert i appreciate your question for sure i have a couple of silly silly questions here this is from uh, uh the grad it says ask her how hard it was to be the leader of the italian mafia all those years what <laughs> year did she surpass john Gotti and became the don Tell us about the Don. I, I, it's actually a cute story. I think I, I remember you explaining it online once. Go ahead. Um, Where's where that from? Where's that from? So actually, I started off when I came on Twitter. I was Donny Zero Four. Okay. 
And as I made my videos and I started growing, uh, my followers started calling me the Dawn. So mm -hmm. my followers named me Donnie the Dawn. So that's where that. my name came from. <laughs> that's the best is when you're, when you're, you have a, a, an audience, people that support you and give you a cool nickname. I, I had one for a little while. I, I, don't, <laughs> hear it, I don't hear it much anymore. Um, but it was, uh, I was coined Soy Jesus. Um, oh, wow. For back when I was on the Tim Cast IRL show. And actually, someone named me the uh, Soy Buddha. Let's check this out. I, I have to show this because I love this. Someone, they, they called me the, 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 beanie, <laughs> the Beanie Buddha and made me a little Beanie Buddha. And says, so like cool. button on the back. By the way, smash that like button, everyone. If you if you haven't smashed it yet, please uh, smash the like button for uh, my excellent guest today. And uh, yeah, I, I love having a. It, it's nice having a good following. Um, and shout out to chat because I have the best chat ever. Um, and yeah, I, and, I know and what and it's also like. I haven't mentioned it yet, you guys, but I need all the support I can get. I am going up against. Okay, there's eight of us. Um, I don't bring this up very often, and someone actually like gave me kudos for it. But like, I'm the youngest one running. I don't, I don't have like any like previous like political background. Yeah. Uh, this is very grassroots. Um, it's very expensive, and I'm doing a lot of this with my little team and myself. So if you can donate, that's amazing. If you're in Arlington and you want to get involved and volunteer. I would love, love for you guys to come out and help. I would love to meet you guys. And honestly, my people, we are the coolest ever, I promise you. Like, we have fun. We have fun. People are always, like, coming and joining our tables and stuff because we're fun. Cool. Um, and, the, and the website is Donnie, D-O-N-I, sorry, Donnie, for, F-O-R, mayor.com. And um, we've, we've actually put that website together ourselves. We didn't pay anybody to do that. Um, me and my campaign manager, uh, Luli did this together. Um, then people were asking more questions and giving us some feedback and telling us, Hey, can we have some more content on your platform? So, uh, we made videos. I, I stayed up with her and we made videos and added them onto the, the platform. Oh, there they are. Um, and I have a section asking people how they feel about how COVID was uh, handled by the residents. I have questions um, asking what, what the taxes are because I really it's not just about me. It's about you guys because I'm running for you guys. So any help that I can get, I am very grateful. Thank you awesome. on that. Yeah, please go check out our website. Please go support. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that makes a difference. You know, even if if you think if, if for once you think that you're not going to make a difference, just one person helping that's where you're wrong because if right. every one person out there said you know what i'm gonna go make a difference the enough people it it changes the tide you know we have to be part of the conversation and this is your, your chance if you haven't uh gotten you know to be part of it 